it's time to do another tutorial. We're going to do the Tinsley Table Runner. This is a Quilted Cow exclusive. I am doing it in some super fun coffee fabric because you guys know I manage a coffee shop in my downtime. Um, so I'm going to run you through it. I've already got my fabric cut out per the instructions. This is what you're going to need for this pattern. You're going to need a third of a yard of main fabric, an eighth of a yard of border one, a sixth of a yard of border two, and a half yard of backing. So, and then there's instructions on how to cut it and how to put it together, and I'm going to show you what to do next. First, the skinniest one you cut for your trim fabric, you're going to line it up, and then you're going to pin it in place or clip it in place, whichever you prefer. That on both sides, and you're going to put it pretty side to pretty side. So I iron light side to dark side on my seams, and when you open it up, it'll end up looking really nice like that. And then we'll add the next layer. All right, so the pattern calls for this to have a little point at each end. And what you do is you find the center, and then the pattern gives you the quantity that you need to come to get to the point. So I've got my center. I'm going to lay my ruler down, and I am going to cut it off. Do y'all ever cut something off and think, ooh, I could I could make something with that? All right, I'm not using batting on this because this is actually going to be a coffee display at work. But if you were using batting, you'd put your batting down first. You'd put your fabric on it. You put the ugly side on the batting, the pretty side up. Then you lay your runner top pretty side down. So the pretty sides are hugging because we're going to do that whole turn through thing again. And then you're going to stitch all the way around this with a quarter inch seam, but you're going to leave a pull through. And I would recommend you leave the pull through on the side and not over here close to this point. And then we're just going to trim off the excess just to make it easy. Okay, so real simple. You're just going to come along and you're going to trim off this excess fabric. I've not done it this way before. It seems like it's going to work out pretty well. Just make sure you don't trim your seam off or something like that. Okay, so when you have a corner or a point and you're pulling, flipping through, always kind of trim the excess. And I go down just a little bit as well to try to get that point to be nice and pointy when I flip it through. I do that on both sides. Okay, my table runner is all done. I'm super excited about it. I did run into some fits with Ruby Sue, my sewing machine, but that's okay. I think we figured it out about three bobbins later. <laughs> Good luck today. Hope you have a fun snow day.